Mm -hmm. I like that exercise too, of uh, putting things on the box. Yeah, that you carry you around that? with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, love that. I can hear him. I can hear what he's saying. He, um, I can hear what everything that he's talking about. He's, I think he's gonna allow you to just edit this stuff. The way that I think that's what he's. I, 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 I'm getting the feeling that that's how it must have been done because that yeah. it comes in and kind of. Yeah. And then you have to organize it all. You know. I like doing that. Yeah. So that, that's probably what they did together, mm -hmm. you know, organizing it. Mm -hmm. um, I can't imagine him just coming through, <laughs> you know, as a, a writer. Book, yeah. No. yeah, I would think you'd have to have somebody, I know, you know, edit and rework it and make it sound yeah. readable. Because uh -huh. I'm not getting it in a readable form here. I'm getting it in the 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 you know. Yeah. He has a prose style, though. Literally, I mean, without any editing. We will not allow mankind to destroy <coughs> mankind. Your leaders had best pay close attention because the time is upon you. I like that. Yeah. Time is upon us. Yeah, isn't that pretty? Yeah. It's a nice style. Yeah, time is upon you. Yeah. Yeah, he does have a nice style. It reminds me of somebody's work. I can't remember what it means. Could be anybody's. Yeah. You know. It has authority. I mean, it has a natural mode. He has authority he when it. he's speaking. Uh -huh. I feel this. I feel like he could talk a lot louder. Really? Yes. Well, I feel like he to. could really talk loud. It's a powerful microphone on that thing. That picks yeah. It up. Very but you know what I mean? I yeah. feel like he could really, he could really pound it out mm -hmm. if he felt he chose to do so, you know? Mm -hmm. I kind of feel myself holding him back a little bit, you yeah. know? Don't be too loud now. I don't want to, I don't what's over here? Is there I have another hidden hypnot therapist. Are they always there? No, what they're very seldom there. Oh, good. Yeah. You would hear them if they were there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You, you can't hear what people are saying, though, even when you're speaking loudly. Really? It's muffled. Oh, that's nice. Well, we'll just wait for him to return. Are there any other questions that we wanted to ask him? You can... Do you want any? Maybe this is the time to see if there's anything you wanted to ask him about any of that. Well... He kind of answered the questions that um, I wanted to know about. I wanted to know about this dissociation that I've been feeling, that you've been feeling. He says I should just start up a conversation with him. That's what I do. Tell no, him see, to that's quit what it. I'm afraid of. <laughs> he I said to tell you not to be afraid. <laughs> I, <laughs> I heard him say that. Know, um, yes, not to be afraid. Yeah. And I know not. I have my own little fear factors that I'm working on too, so. But I, you know what I think it is, it's your own little ego is what gives you the fear. Yeah. Because um, it's out of your normal, it's out of the normal feeling that you normally walk around with. You know how mm -hmm. we, we move around and we're not really aware of what we're doing, we're just doing it. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden you become aware of something different. Mm -hmm. And you know, the heart starts to race a little bit yeah. and you get this feeling. And then you're like, oh, I've just been trying to ignore it, but he's do he's doing it a lot. Mm. <laughs> you Me know. Too. And so I thought, well, well, this is probably just part of it, you know. It's uh -huh. probably but I would like to that's why I mentioned it to him last night. I said, you know, you could take a break on this a little bit, <laughs> ease it up. You know. And so Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to he mentioned that I should expand my uh, ideas of what is real, and that would sort of dissolve the fear. He's right about that. Um, What's that now? Well, it's almost like, uh, I think I talked about this before, it's almost like uh, peripheral vision. You kind of have to uh, expand that into the um, 
yeah. psychic realms. You do. It's um, a real learning process here. It is. You know, I feel like it is for me, especially just getting some of those feelings and stuff, and and the, the blocks of information that he puts into my head. He was mm. talking about a lot of stuff this morning that I can't even remember now. Mm. I thought for sure he was going to cover that in the session, mm. but I don't remember what it was, so I don't. Maybe he'll do it later. Mm. I'm just waiting for him to come back. It's like, you could probably turn the camera off while you're waiting for him. If you okay. Yeah, so you don't yeah. waste all your tape. I'll okay, we're recording. What are those titles, Mark? Well, let's see. I am having you organize for me. This was something that Rupert and Joseph did for me. That's good information. I wanted yeah. to come back and clear that up okay. with you as I always delivered the information in a somewhat unorganized but organized to me manner. Well, chapter one, the unknown reality. Right. Chapter two. <clears throat> now, uh, a necessary event. You're going to explain why the participants of 9-11 chose these roles. Chapter right. Two. We may have to rework these oh, chapter sure. yeah. headings. Mm -hmm. These were some various ideas that I had. However, I feel more comfortable giving you all the information and with my assistance we will come up with a proper title. Okay. But I, I think what we will do here, Mark, is towards the end we will group things together and decide what chapter headings we prefer to use at that time. How does that sound to you? That sounds great. I can do that. Okay. I am jumping around a bit, but this is normally what I used to do anyway. That, that's very interesting to know. I wonder if that wouldn't There we go. Um, I often wondered how it was put together. Because you don't have a physical body. You can't go to Kinko's and, you know. Well, as you know, I, I gave a lot of personal information as well mm -hmm. to Rupert and Joseph, right. much of which would have to be deleted out. The structure of the sessions all came together through their efforts yeah. editing. Okay. And in some cases rewriting, reworking the material. Okay. So to make it flow okay, make better. It flow. All right. The first chapter, let's discuss the first chapter's heading right now. Okay. So at least we have a framework with which I can keep the thoughts flowing. Mm -hmm. What did, let's see, 